Hi everyone, Adarsh here. Welcome to Adarsh Model Train. So today we will talk about PCF8574 GPIO Extender Lab board and its library which I have created for LED signal system for railroad model railroad which we can use for GMRI. So let's see the API page first. So I have a GitHub page which is on github.com slash adarsh 83 pcf8574 gpio extender library. This is the URL. I'll paste this URL in the description box. So what this library does is with this help of this library you can manage all all the boards number of boards which you want to configure in the chain and you can just you know do the on off operation of signals as well as uh, lights on the model railroad layouts so what we can do here we, we we have in the page we have already a youtube link how to configure the boards uh, about the addresses and other informations so this board provides you almost like eight additional gpio pin with the interrupt pin and maximum you can configure eight boards together in the row so 8 into 8 you will get almost 65 pins for i operations here if we here is the address configuration like 20 21 22 23 up to 27 all this information i have already explained in the pre uh, video which is linked in the home page of this api and uh, let's talk about the api so here we have to just include the header files we have to define the PCF8574 board object and number of boards which we are planning to use and then we have initialization method we have to pass in the number of boards which we are planning to use and then we can use uh, serial.begin to print the serial methods serial date uh, the information which is there in the APIs like uh, the pin which is going on and pin which is going off on the particular board and all those uh, debug information will be printed. I usually prefer 9600 baud rate but it's up to you any, any valid baud rate you can uh, provide into this begin method. And then we have a switch on method where we can pass the pin number. So pin number starts from 1 to 8 for the first board and then for the second board it will start from 9 to 16 and so on so totally from 1 to 60 uh, 1 to 64 board uh, 64 pin we can get uh, when we configure eight boards together so we have switch on method we have switch off methods here if uh, we have additional refresh if we go into this header file you can see here we have a refresh board what it will do what is the current state of the pin it will again refresh that and we have a reset method also where we can reset the board so everything will be on the off state and we have a display pin status method which will display all the state of the pins so here here at the end we have a complete example so what we'll do we'll download this api first and we're gonna use it so just click on the download button i'll download it on my desktop I'll open the Arduino. And in the Arduino, I'll go to Sketches, Include Library, Add Zip Library. We'll go into We will go into Desktop. This is a library zip file which will which got downloaded. So now library is already included. Let's go to example. So here we have eight board example already. Yeah, it's very simple API. It will be very easy to manage. So here, as I mentioned, include the header file, define the object, number of boards which we have want to use. In our case, I'll be using four boards on a uh, four boards only num maximum number of pin it will automatically calculate serial data on 96 100 baud rate and what i am doing from first to number of maximum pin i am just all the pin i am making it on and then after delay of one, one second it will again make it off so that's how the simple demonstration of this api 
but for this we have already configured our board here like you can see in the Arduino we have STA if you can see this side the STA and FCL line is coming and going into this STA and FCL here 5 volt power supply and GND is going and coming into this VCC and GND so how this board basically works is uh, to complete the circuit on this board whenever the pin is low then only it will convert then only the circuit will be completed and then only the particular pin will be on because other boards whenever pin is high then only it will complete the circuit but this board works in totally different way so we have four boards configured here 20 21 22 23 and if you see at the last board i have taken the last vcc and i have passed it to the bed boards here where from this line it's one board and here it's a second one so what every pin will every every p0 or p till p7 will connect to the negative side short leg of the led and the long leg of the led will connect it to the register and that register will connect it to the 5 volt positive supply so that's how this is done here from board one also p0 p1 p2 board 2 p0 p1 p2 and then board 3 p0 board 4 p0 so here that's how the simple simple configurations of the board has been done so here we will see we will just compile this code whatever code we have written and then we will deploy this board so here you can see all the lights are on and for every second every light will on and off so here in the console we can see it's telling the state of each pin of particular board what is the state of the pin so that's how the uh, messages will show what pin is high and what pin is low on which part number of board so we have totally four board as of now so it's showing from 0 to 3 so till 0 to 7 maximum we can show the pin uh, on of states so that's how this api can be used so this is this is a very simple uh, demonstration uh, going forward i'll show you how we can use this api with the jmri for controlling the signaling system on model railroad till then take care bye